Hello everyone, this is Deepankar and welcome to the channel. In this video, we will talk about business rules engine. So what is business rules engine? So as the name suggests engine, right? So that means it does some complex set of calculations and it will return us some result, right? And how does this rules engine work? It has some few components that it needs in order to give us the result. And what are the components? These are the components which are expression sets, decision matrices and decision tables, right? And if I scroll down, so uh, the definition you can find it here. I am not going to the definition and I am not diving deep into it. We will make sure that we will do some hands on and this should be a good starting point for someone who wants to learn the business rules engine, right? But let me give you a rough overview. So expression set is something that does the calculation and these two things that are called lookup tables they are basically table right and this table contains the rows and columns if we talk about decision matrix just remember that it will return you a single row and for what with the decision tables you may get a single row but you also can uh, get a multiple rows of results based on the input right so that's the difference and there are other differences as well we'll get to know when we do the actual hands-on and to do that let's go to our omni studio org and over here there is a, an application called business roles engine and this is all the same two components expression sets and lookup tables as i have said earlier expression set need the lookup tables in order to do the calculations right so let's go and create a lookup table for us when I click on new, you can see the same thing over here. Uh, it will give an option to choose either you, you want to create a decision matrix or you want to create a decision table. So as I said earlier, so it says an exact match based lookup that will return a single output. That means data from a single row. But in case of decision table, you can get the data from one or multiple output sets or mul multiple rows okay so let's create a decision matrix i'll just click on next so i don't have any particular use case in my mind but just let's try something um i i can read as get get product rate or uh, maybe i can write get product details the type the type can be standard or grouped um, the concept uh, okay so let's try with standard we will talk about group at some other time i'll just choose standard let's try to build something so that we'll be able to uh, understand how the process works and i'll just click on save okay so we have created decision matrix but there is no data right where are the tables and columns to do that we have to go to related and you can see that there is a already version created for us you can just click on it we can also create a new version the, once the version is over here okay so here we it says the matrix and this matrix has no columns or no rows okay so we'll add some columns and we'll get to know about it so if you see it says what is the header and whether this should be an input or this should be an output and if it is input or output what is the data type so let's say i want to create a product like uh, let's say i will create as product name okay and i can give it this input let's say the data type is text let's un add another uh, column i will write the price the price can be a okay so based on the product we will give the price let's try with an output and let's the okay so you can see a lot of data types let's see the number or maybe we can see currency as well um let's choose currency and similarly the rate uh, because based on every time or for a period of time the rates fluctuates right we will not go dive deep into it just uh so this will be the last column so also i'll uh, make it as output and let's make it as number 
okay so we'll click on done and you can see the so it says the input data is product name and output data and rate are present over here i'll just click on save as soon as i click on save it says it was saved now let's try to add a row okay so when i add a row you can see it because of text it will give us some values right so let's say the product is gold okay so ideally that should be tier based but yeah okay let's try with this let's say for 10 gram of gold the price is 50000 and let's say for today the rate fluctuates 1.1 okay and we can click on save and okay uh, if you have a, already a csv file you can upload it as well but i don't have it yet and i don't want to upload it let's uh, just understand the basics right so we'll add another row that let's name it as silver and silver the price can be let's say we'll make it was 1000 and let's say it fluctuates like 1.5 or maybe it fluctuates 8 by 0.9 okay so i'll save it so we have our table ready so it has a row it has two rows and it has three columns out of those three columns two of them are output and one is input so to use it it is not yet activated so we can edit it and i'll mark it as active okay now we have a decision matrix and which is active as well okay so same thing over here the uh, okay we don't have any group okay so we have a lookup table for us if we come over here we have a lookup table we will just let's go and build the expression set okay so i'll close the other ones uh, the decision matrix express okay so let's go and build an expression set so let's click on new it says expression set let's say we will name it as find product rate today okay the users type let's make it as default okay similar to the uh, lookup table it also has details but it has some versions right so for the lookup table it has some versions and that created automatically and we created those version and table and we made that activated similar thing we have we are going to do with the expression set as well but when i'll click on it it will take us to a different page and interface we'll let's do that So it looks something like the flow okay so if we come over here it have few elements then here there is some resource manager in the basic details the properties and the element details will uh, come to this okay so the first thing that we want to do is a lookup table so let's come over here and search for lookup table okay so now let's type get it says get product details as soon as i type this and it uh, selected it it automatically shows us the input variables and output variables okay now let's say based on this product details let's say i select gold okay i select gold i will multiply the price with the rate and i will get the today's price so this is a simple mathematics i am not doing anything complex let's add a calculation okay we have got the details we will add a calculation the formula and the output variables okay the formula that we want to do is we will multiply the price okay so as soon as i write price it shows over here and by the way if i come over here it should be present in the resource i'll write price and i'll multiply with with the rate okay and for here i don't have any 
आउटपुट वेरिएबल लेट से आई क्रिएट ए वेरिएबल आई नेम इज टू डेज प्राइस एंड द डाटा टाइप लेट्स मेक इट एज करेंसी डिफॉल्ट वैल्यू आई डोंट वॉन्ट टू गिव एनी थिंग एंड सिमिलर एज सोन एज ए राइट टू डेज प्राइस इट विल गिव मी दैट ओके सो वेन आई सेव इट इफ आई कम ओवर हियर इन द बेसिक डिटेल्स इट विल से द स्टार्ट डेट एंड डेट दैट वी हैव एंड वी डोंट हैव एक्टिवेटेड इट एंड वी डिडेंट गिव एनी एंड डेट बट दैट्स फाइन ओके सो हाउ डू वी टेस्ट इट टू टेस्ट इट वी हैव टू कम ओवर हियर एंड सिमुलेट दिस ओके इफ आई क्लिक ऑन सिमुलेट लेट से आई वॉन्ट टू गिव इट कोल्ड राइट सो लेट से हाउ डज इट बी एस द प्रोडक्ट नेम I have given it gold, and I'll just click on simulate. As soon as I simulate, it says the today's price is fifty-five thousand. So if I come over here, I uh, gave the product name gold. It gives the rate and price, and then it multiplies the rate with price, and it gave me fifty-five thousand, right? So we have verified that this works for us. Okay. now we have saved it and let's activate it enter a valid rank to enable okay so where is the rank let's give it a rank okay now let's try to save it it is saving let me see if i can see the activate button again let me refresh it just or maybe we can verify whatever we have done it's working or not we can again go to over here and let's click on it and let's close this one as well okay now let's come over here we have given the rank we have given the version number and let's activate this okay it says select include in output from element details at least one at least in one step so it says include in include in output okay so when we do that so this is what when we start or uh, doing something we'll get to uh, know what are the errors that we of his and how to resolve them okay so when we see this select include in output from the element details so here we have look up details yes it says include in output this look up this product table and this calculation let's include the calculation in output okay we are only interested in the end result i'll click on save it says saved we have already simulated and let's click on activate this is activated now to test it we can use it either in omni studio or we can also use it in close right so uh, we are from omni studio background let's try to build it in omni studio let's create it I'll click on demo. Let's say business rules engine. Okay. Uh, I'll type it as demo. And the sub type let's give it as business rules engine. Okay. I'll just click on save. now we have our omni script ready over here let's try to bring a select element so in this select element we will configure the data okay so from this expression set if we see over here we need the product name right just to make it simple let's directly name it as product name okay and the option source let's make it as manual i let gold the value should be gold and i'll 
right silver no value should be silver okay so we have the product name ready over here let's drag an expression set okay we have our expression set action ready over here and what is the expression set name this is the ex name find product red today okay i'll copy it in the remote properties it will ask for the configuration name okay i'll paste it and it says name of calculation procedure they might have forgotten to update this okay so there are also some inputs like include inputs or match output variables okay uh, that means if the omniscript element sent to calculation procedure at the step level then you can include or i mean if it is not in a block but let's let's try to do with minimum con configuration right so we have our product name that is gold and silver we have our expression set action i have renamed it uh, find products red today okay so the label i can give the same level the name we can uh, use as it is okay now i have given the product name and i'll find it okay to verify it what we can do we'll just preview it we'll select over gold okay as soon as i click on it it does some calculations and if we go to action debugger it take the request okay product name gold and it gave us the response okay so if and if you see over here there is output inside output it gives us the calculation results it gave us the same data right so it, it's not mandatory that you keep it over here you can keep it after the step as well it will also behave in same way okay so if you want to see the uh, data so let's copy it and i'll just paste in json block just to visualize how the, uh, the data looks like okay so and at the same time right so let's go to design let's click on build let's just show the rate over here on the screen so for that we need a text block in the text block so what was the result so i don't know why json blog is not working but that's fine um what i can do do i have any other options i'll just okay let's do one thing i'll just copy over here so basically we are interested in this data right output and we want to find out how the 55000 can be displayed on the screen so what i can do so i'll so the first thing that we need is output okay so this is the more syntax we'll write output so this output is an array and we need the first object okay so we'll write pipe okay so this is the pipe so pipe syntax and after that we will need the calculation result okay and similar to calculation results it will give us an array right I will again need a pipe and for this we need the two days price okay so this should be our merge fields uh, syntax and the path to the result okay we'll just click on save and now let's click on preview it this time we'll go with silver so just to see what happens So now it is there but it is not displaying that's fine let's search silver click on find product right today so it shows you 900 right and similarly if you want to uh, do it for gold it gave us 55,000, right so that's how you implement a business rules engine okay so i hope uh, this would be a very good starting point for you if you want to learn it and thank you for watching